Hey there, good morning to you. It is Wednesday, hump day, starting off on a warm note. And as you step outside, it is air you can wear. Open the door and boom, there it is. The humidity is in full swing. So temperatures this morning, mainly in those upper 70s, but a few of our coastal communities already in the 80s to start the day. Not a whole lot in the way of wind this morning. Many of our reporting stations coming in uh, with calm wind readings or keeping it around five miles per hour at best. So uh, some spots experiencing fog. Alice reporting fog right now with a half mile visibility. Everyone else has a full 10 statute miles, so should not be a problem as you head out. Might be a good idea to give yourself some extra time, but it's summer. It's been hot and we've been throwing around this term the dog days of summer and you know, here at Chris six, we enjoy that, especially when it comes to the dog walking forecast, but uh, it denotes the most oppressive period of summer. It usually ranges from July 3rd through August 11th. So we're coming toward the end of that. And as I've been telling you, the hottest week for us here in Corpus Christi tends to be between August 5th and August 15th. So we're definitely living out our most hottest days here. But did you know the term dog days of summer has nothing to do with dogs? It's cute to see these photos of them, but the name actually comes from something up in the sky, the constellation Canis Major, the greater dog constellation. So with that in mind, Sirius sets, it rises and sets with the sun in summer, Sirius and the sun in conjunction, usually July 23rd, uh, which makes Sirius very bright in the night sky. And ancient Romans believe that it gave off heat. So you can see where everything's coming together here, but all in all, it's called the stretch of hot, sultry weather the dog days of summer. So here we are with that in mind, the dog days of our forecast rebel the star today and we love the big ears and the big toe beans here in the picture. Thanks for submitting this photo. And if you'd like to see your furry friend on the air, just send me an email stephanie.lobber at christv.com or tag me on social media. That works too. But for rebels walk today, might want to get that done earlier because the heat comes on a little bit faster as we cruise toward the afternoon. The next couple of hours we'll get toward the 90s and uh, one good thing today. You notice that wind picks up a little bit sooner too, so that may help make things more comfortable. We'll still have dangerous heat in the forecast. These heat alerts are on deck for noon today, an hour earlier than yesterday, and they'll go until 7 o'clock tonight. So heat advisories all in orange means we'll feel at least as hot as 110 to 114 for a good chunk of the afternoon. That'll be two hours or longer. And the reason why we've got high pressure overhead. So this will be the case today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We won't see much change in the forecast and we really need to, though, because we're behind on rainfall. Uh, we usually see a little more than 31 inches of rainfall here in Corpus Christi and we're in August now. September is the rainiest month on average, so there is a, a little bit of a skew there, but we haven't even reached 15 inches so far, so we're behind by almost three. We really need to pick up on it. And as I said earlier, Javi really liked this comparison. If you cry, you'll get more rain in the forecast than what we've got coming out of the sky at this point. So burn bans in effect for most of the coastal bend. Please be aware of your outdoor activities with all this dryness. Uh, hoping we can see a change to the seven day forecast soon. But for now, near record temperatures persist with those temperatures near 100 degrees all week long.